Adventure Bar Story is an RPG where cooking and turn-based battles permeate the game. This is an adventure that was originally launched as a mobile game, but has now been relaunched for the Nintendo Switch. In this video, I discuss what the game is about and whether it is worth buying. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and give a thumbs up, I review new games every week. This story is based on a classic concept of how large companies do everything to buy up smaller ones, and how the small ones do everything to make their business survive. In this game, you assume the role of Ciela and Camrina, who jointly run a bar, which at first does not have much to offer. But when they meet the game's antagonist, who is a successful and extremely greedy restaurant owner, they realize that they must create a business that can compete with the city's largest restaurant. It's actually a pretty effective way to present the story. Early on, we get to know what this is about, and it's easy to follow what is happening. However, I never find it to be particularly dramatic. You get to see a few cutscenes now and then, which usually serves a purpose, but I don't find them particularly interesting, to be honest. You shouldn't expect any end of the world scenarios. Rather, it's about, hey, I'm in trouble, I'm out of fish, can you get me some? Sort of. So you constantly hear about the concerns of individuals, rather than bombastic events that put the fate of humanity at stake. The aim of the game is to build a thriving restaurant. You do this by going out into the world and gathering ingredients. Then you return home and cook up what you have. You can then sell your dishes and earn money. The money can then be used to buy armor, weapons or more ingredients. Here, however, I think that they have not taken advantage of the opportunities that could have existed. I think it would be nice if you could upgrade the restaurant. Buying new furniture, making it refined and more attractive for visiting guests. The restaurant looks the same throughout the game from start to finish. But visually, this is a game that has a distinct retro style. Those who appreciate classic JRPG games from the 90s will perhaps like the mix of cities, deserts, forests, beaches and mountain areas. It's a mix that works and it's always entertaining to discover a new place in the game. However, the areas are relatively small so it's not really a game that offers a lot of exploration. Rather, it's about going to a place and collecting as many ingredients as you can, and also fighting all the enemies you encounter. The battles are turn-based, and the mix of enemies is strange, to say the least. There is no common thread. You fight mice, slime, carnivorous plants, wolves, and a lot of other creatures. Sometimes you also fight bosses, and they are quite entertaining. They differ purely visually and sometimes have abilities that you have to watch out for. However, what I want to point out about the battles is that the difficulty level is brutal. In the beginning it's quite easy to take on most of the enemies, but out of nowhere it becomes all the more difficult as the enemies have larger health pools and do a lot of damage. So the difficulty balance is a bit odd in my opinion. In the game, you can use six different classes, each with different strengths and weaknesses. But we are talking about classic classes such as warriors, thieves and mages. No surprises, actually. But it works. You know what you're getting, and I think it's entertaining to put together your own team the way you want it. Each character can also level up, but not by killing enemies. You gain experience by eating. Yeah, by eating. After cooking, you can eat and thus make your characters more equipped for battle. This means that the battles themselves are basically about picking up what the enemy drops and unlocking new abilities. It's a slightly different system, but it shows how important cooking is in this game. Everything revolves around cooking, as it both generates money and can make your men stronger. So should you buy this game? At its core, it's a fairly light-hearted RPG that never really goes deep. 
nothing really feels poorly done. It's just that a lot is simplistic. So somewhere this is a perfect game for those who have never played RPG games before and need something to start with. But I still want to say that it has a pretty high entertainment value. It's fun to cook and create new dishes, but also to buy new items that strengthen your characters. So there is a clear progression throughout the game. How to go from nothing to something. It's also pretty solid actually. I haven't encountered any crashes or any problems with the frame rate. However, I think the price is wrong. It costs $20 in Nintendo's eShop, and I would probably wait for a possible discount. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. Have a great day. See ya!